Hey everybody, welcome to another Photoshop CS6 tutorial. I'm your host, Buddy Blackford, and today we're going to go over the last layer style called Satin. And this effect uh, gives you like kind of like a satiny look, I, I guess. Um, and uh, this this uh, layer style can also be used to add additional depth to make like a realistic looking glass text or metal text. And um, I'll, I'll go ahead and show you that in uh, the next tutorial. We're going to combine all the things that we learned and put them into making a, a new uh, type of text. So let's go ahead and just learn about satin for now, and then uh, we'll continue on later. So go ahead and draw out your shape, and I'm going to turn my effects off right now. And we should have just a plain shape like this. So go ahead and add your satin uh, layer style. And um, the things you want to start out with probably for satin in your blend mode are either a linear burn with a black or linear dodge with a white color. And uh, that'll give you this nice looking effect on, around the outsides. Um, we've got our opacity here, which is our transparency. And usually for this effect, you want to have it kind of lower down like in the 30s. Um, our angle is going to decide which way the uh, effect is going to be applied. So just uh, adjust the angle to whatever you need. We've got our distance here, which is going to show how large the uh, effect is. And then our size, um, which is going to show how blended in our effect is as well. And then, of course, our contour here. Um, we've got uh, Gaussian here, or Gaussian. And that's a pretty good uh, contour for this uh, specific layer style. And then I could I could try change it to other things. Let me move this away, around. Linear looks like this, but uh, I like Gaussian because it has a nice uh, like a curved. It's it, it like it's like a nice fading on fading off kind of effect. You'll want to uh, uncheck invert. Because if you have it invert on, it looks like this, and that's totally taking over the color that you wanted to have before. So click uncheck invert, so you just get like the sides. And then anti-alias, do you want to have checked? So now we can uh, change this. Let's check out with a linear dodge, and we'll change this to a white. And uh, this is what it looks like with white. Now this is a uh, kind of more of like a feminine look, and the other one was more of a masculine look. So take that into account when you're making things like this. And uh, now you've got the uh, basic overview of satin and um, what it's used for and how it's supposed to be used. So thanks a lot for watching the tutorial, and uh, I look forward to seeing you in the next tutorial. We're going to combine a bunch of things to make some cool looking uh, text. So thanks a lot for watching. Have a good one, everyone.